simple sheet tray pizza. In this one, I'm gonna be going over a pizza that just takes a sheet tray. Just one pan, toss it in the oven, and forget about it. Now this is a recipe that I would make for family meal at work all the time. If you don't know what family meal is, it's basically the dinner that we would make for the staff at the restaurant. And pizza night was the favorite of the week. And it was also my favorite because it was so easy. I would make a giant sheet tray and that would feed the entire staff. This dough does not take long. I could start the dough in the morning and it's ready for dinner time in the evening. If you want, you can make the dough prior the night before and then it'll be ready for the next day in the morning. Also, mind you, this dough takes little to no work. We just mix it up and we toss it into a container and we let it sit and that is it. We're gonna put it on the tray and put all our toppings. So let's jump right into this video of this delicious tray of pie. Okay, so first off, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, hi, I'm a cook named Matt, just another washed up line cook in Seattle. <laughs> but anyways, let's get on into this pizza recipe. It's gonna start off with the sauce, which is starting off with a yellow onion that I'm just gonna dice up really quick here. I'm using half of the onion, by the way. Then I'm gonna get on to the garlic. Now, look, don't judge me here. I'm using store-bought, already peeled garlic. I go through a lot of garlic, it's fine, whatever. So I'm just gonna mince it up and then I'll turn it into a quick paste and that is gonna be set aside for our sauce. Now I'm just gonna pull out my burner here. Yeah, I use the burner here and not my stovetop because it's better for the camera angles. I'm using a good healthy amount of olive oil, not extra virgin olive oil, just olive oil. Then I toss in the onions, garlic, sweat that a little bit before adding in my Mediterranean oregano, red pepper, you could do that to taste. And then I'm just gonna sweat that off until translucent and then I'll add some pepper salt to taste. Now then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a can of whole peeled San Marzano tomatoes. I'm gonna add that to the sweated off onions and garlic. I'm gonna cook them off until soft. Then I'll give it a little blitzy blitz with my immersion blender here. If you want, you could toss into a blender if you want a finer sauce, but I, I like a nice chunky sauce. And then here, once my sauce is blended, I like it to be chunky by the way, I will take some olive oil, and maybe fortify it with a little bit of that. And then I will do red wine vinegar to taste and then salt it to taste. And then if I want, I could add some more chili flake. You get the point, we're just doing all this to taste. If you like it spicy, add a little more spice. I might add a little bit more red wine vinegar for that acidity, that pop. And then we'll just let this cook down a little bit, simmering for like five to 10 minutes just to get that flavor out. Now, with everything dough related, I would always recommend using a scale. That's what I'm using here today. I'm gonna get the bowl, put it right on top of the scale and measure everything out. It makes my life easier. So I'm gonna start off with the dry active yeast and then my warm H2O, and then I'll whisk that up. I'm just gonna let that bloom for about five minutes just to let that come to life. Then I'm gonna add in the rest of my wet ingredients. That's gonna be the extra virgin olive oil. And then I'm also going to use honey as my sweetener. If you want, you can use white sugar. I prefer honey for this recipe. I've tested it out many times. It works great. Whisk that up. And then I'm gonna add in my dry ingredients, the AP flour, followed by semolina flour. You can use cornmeal if you want instead. Then a hefty amount of salt. Toss that into the mixer with the dough hook attachment. Then just mix it up until it comes together. Do not overmix this. And then I take a container of some sort and I'll put just some extra virgin olive oil or you could do butter and we just spread that all around so the dough doesn't stick. And then I just scrape the bowl clean into my container and I'll just fold the dough into itself, slap it down. And then we just cover this guy up and I can let this sit overnight. That's what I'm actually gonna do now for this one. I'm gonna let it sit overnight. I'm gonna make another short video with this. And you just seal this up. You could let this sit overnight and then you'll have pizza dough ready to go in the morning. Or if you want, start this in the morning and it'll be ready by dinner time. Just leave it out all day somewhere that is not too cold. Now I'm gonna mix together some cornmeal and some salt. This is gonna be the mixture I'm going to use for when I bake off the dough. This will allow the dough to not stick to the pan. It's very important, this is a very crucial step. If you don't do this, that pizza is gonna stick to the pan. Then of course for my toppings, I'm gonna do some roni and then the pizza sauce that we've made. If you want, 
mess around with all your different pizza toppings. Then of course, the pizza dough. This is everything we need for my pizza today. And then for my cheese, I'm gonna do just some straight up mozz. This is what you wanna use for pizza. This is what gets all nice and melty. Now you could just buy the pre-shredded mozz, or we could just take one of these guys, a grater, and then slice it up. Now, once I've got my shreddy cheese and my shreddy cheese roni snack, I'm going to take my sheet tray and then I'm gonna coat it in extra virgin olive oil. You can also do some butter and then give it a little massage massage with our hands. We're gonna get in there with our hands, yes. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of that cornmeal mixture, toss it onto my sheet pan, and then just toss it side to side to get it fully coated in that cornmeal mixture. That's gonna allow the dough to not stick to the pan. Then I'll toss my dough on there. I'm gonna take some extra virgin olive oil on my hands, rub it together, and then just start incorporating the dough onto the sheet tray. And there we go. I'm gonna just go ahead and do some little piano fingers on that like I'm making focaccia. Take my sauce and ever so delicately pour the sauce onto that dough, rub it around, give it a little massage with that sauce. Then we're just gonna get that sauce evenly incorporated doesn't matter, it's a sheet tray pizza. Doesn't have to look pretty. Then I'll put my cheese on there, my ronies. And like I said before, you can play around with whatever toppings you want. I don't know about pineapple though. I, I wouldn't do that. I mean, I'm not against it, but it's, it's okay, whatever. Is pineapple a thing for you? Let me know in the comments down below. And then right before this goes into the oven, I like to toss it onto a burner. I've got my flat top here set to 500. You could put this onto your stove top. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna crisp up the bottom of the pie before we get it into the oven. Cause we wanna have a crispy bottom, a nice melty cheesy top. This is gonna make it way better. It's gonna have a nicer crust. Then I'm just gonna toss that into an oven that is preset to 420 degrees Fahrenheit. I will toss another sheet tray on top of the tray just so it's covered for the first 20 minutes. This is so the top does not burn before that dough is cooked off. This is a thick dough pizza. And now what I'll do is I'll let this go uncovered for the rest of the cook. That's gonna get that cheese all GBD bubbly. It's gonna be delicious. So we're just gonna let that go till GBD. Now while that's cooking off, I'm gonna show you how to make my sour garlic salt. It's just garlic powder plus citric acid and then kosher salt. If you don't have citric acid, you could do lemon zest. That works just as fine. Mix that up and there we go. We've got sour garlic salt. It works so great on pizza. I'm telling you, trust me, it's freaking delicious. Then we take it out of the oven when it's all bubbly, delicious GBD. And there we have it a sheet pan pizza. This was my go-to for every family meal. It was always a popular one. Get some extra virgin olive oil or some butter on that crust and then dust it with that sour garlic kosher salt. It's a delicious topping, trust me. Um, let me know in the comments down below what toppings you would choose for this pizza. I know Roni is kind of basic. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'm gonna be making the videos every Tuesday from now on. So from now on, I will see you next Tuesday. Yeah.